We are in the middle of the Fiordland National Park, which is one of the most exquisite places on earth. And if you are a New Zealander, it is a place that is really dear to our hearts. And right here is Lake Erskine. It means heaps to me to be here. You know, when we first did it, uh, when we did it a couple of years ago, I'd been living in the South Island for a while and I felt immensely passionate about the land that we live in, but also our environment and everybody knows that we stand for the planet. And it just felt like a unique opportunity once again to showcase that and to be in touch with that with the medium that we have of sharing things with our people which is our videos it's really special and it feels even more potent this time because of the feedback that we've had there was some instructors who felt that the first time was a little bit complicated for their learning and so that's amazing because it means that we can bring all that this time and make an experience that it feels really great for us and we can make a product that really helps instructors learn and uh, that they can hopefully just in, enjoy the environment and the passion that the presenters get from being here. I'm just so excited to start filming. This landscape is so well matched, so calm and beautiful. It's inspiring. <laughs> you know, it's an incredible spot to be in. Finally being able to get up here, which has been absolutely amazing. And I know that the team is fizzed. It's a great, great experience here. This incredible setting, it doesn't get better than this. Seems like I'm losing some faith. All right, let's go. Into the well of my brain was going up and there's got little to say on the outside. I've been out right. It's been two years since we filmed in a natural New Zealand setting, so I'm just so excited to bring New Zealand to the world again. It's such a beautiful, inspiring place. We want to innovate, we want to push the boundaries all the time, we want to just keep making the best that we can and that's for the people who are on the other side of the screen. Working with Jackie Mills is a treat. She's so passionate about fitness and about the Les Mills products which we make. She loves the natural environments of New Zealand so I know that when we've done these outdoor shoots both in Tiano but also in Wanaka previously she's really enjoyed the experience and I actually draw upon that as well. What's it like working with Jackie and Ross? It's awesome. I don't know I just have that confidence with them that I know that they're going to get the best shots and make it look amazing and epic their vision and what they see and how it's going to come together, that's actually something quite special. I have these intrinsic feelings of absolute trust. Um, as soon as you get the word from Ross, um, you're straight in there, it is game on. Ross, is, he's, he's such an awesome guy, man, and like, he's, he's strong and stern when you need him, and he is fun and exciting on the other time, so just let you be creative. Seems Here we go. Three, two, one, now lift the heels. It's just the logistics of a location shoot which is always challenging. You have to move a lot of people and a lot of equipment um, and obviously you're at the mercy of the weather. All the elements, sometimes it's boiling hot, sometimes it's freezing cold. So there's rain, there's wind and yet nobody ever complains. Everyone who's here just seems to embrace the fact that it's really a unique and amazing adventure. We have a lot of travel time, a lot of roughing it it's wonderful. It's um, exciting and natural. This is it. We've just pulled off the side of a one road in, one road out to the Milford Sound, and we're filming this beautiful location. It's just pure magic. Seems like I'm losing some faith. Got a five digit pinder into the well of my brain. Was going up and there's got little to say. On the outside, I've been out right in the place. What I love is the whole production, everyone supporting us. Generally speaking, the core crew were, were all crew who know and love Les Mills for shoots. And so they know what they're doing and they know the workouts and the challenges of those workouts. There's such awesome energy. I feel like you learn so much about people. I like forget how much of a team environment it creates. I mean, we've got this awesome culture at Les Mills to begin with, but it just sort of cements all of that as well. That sort of 
united feeling, that connected feeling. And that's part of the enjoyment of a shoot like this as well. It's the crew, it's the cast. It's a small but uh, perfectly formed little team, so it, uh, it's good fun. Presenting to camera directly down the lens is a big difference from presenting to a live audience. But one of the things which is we've done a lot more of since COVID-19 is we've done these smaller shoots with presenters. They've really honed those skills of presenting down the lens. It's, it's not easy. You gotta get into the zone in a different kind of way. But you know, as soon as the music starts, you know, we're on, we're focused. And the cameras start rolling. You're just in that moment. Just taking in all the elements, the smells, what it feels like, the, the, the sun on your back. It's just so cool. The highlight for me this week has been Vili. His arms were out wide and between each kick. He was just in this complete celebration of punching and kicking outside. I'm actually going to do what I've always loved watching and feeling and experiencing. Before I even got down here, I was thinking of the filming as if I was already there. So I put myself in the mountains and then the expectation I had of myself was I know what I'm going to bring. Hey, hey, you know what's coming? Slow noise! Bring it! Go! Boo! Uh, Rach, myself, Antoine and Vili, we were feeling it, the music's blaring, and we can just express ourselves. we just move as a team, and we just know that the unity that we have is going to just speak volumes right through the camera. It's just great fun. It's more dynamic, there's more going on, and it's really interesting watching these two go through the experience that Dan and I went through a couple of years ago. I've built a stronger connection with Dan and Rich, so it's been cool with Antoine. It's cool to have someone just stepping into this environment for the first time. It's good to be part of this filming and share it with a great team. Dan, Rich, Vils. We've all come from such different parts of the world with different upbringings and different experiences, yet we're all here doing this fitness workout and sharing this experience. No one gets to do this, you know? This is not an everyday thing. It's hard, it's hard. All right, so we're just gonna take you to our trailer. Come with us. Yep. Nice Arthian blue train. So this is where we get ready. Yep. This is where we do hair and makeup. Hair and makeup. A little bit of lip gloss. Yep. That was crazy. Let's go for a swim. Come on. Follow me. This water in the whole entire world. I've had to take my contact out because I've had an allergic reaction to the grass that we were filming in. I'm so happy it's not raining. That's good. I'll take rain over sand flies any day. Oh, I swallowed a fly like five <laughs> times. Very nice. Yeah, it's, I like it. But I also like the studio because it's warmer. <laughs> The, the crew were laughing at me because I just decided to go for a run. <laughs> but I was just trying to stay warm. My legs are like jelly right now. I was trying to throw kicks on the ridge of the summit of the mountain. I'm really privileged to be part of it. Working with Diana and Kylie was definitely, for me, nerve-wracking. After spending time with them and being mentored by, you know, probably the best, these two, who I see is up here, is that, yeah, it's a bit of a privilege and an honour. How Kylie was in yoga, you know, wish every time she did an up dog, there was a bunch of sun through the rain and that exquisite feeling that you can even feel through the lens. How was that? That was actually, um, Oh, pretty mind-blowing. <laughs> this is my 30th year of teaching and that was something pretty amazing, something I've never experienced before. Um, to be outside and breathing and teaching at the same time and sharing all the elements of New Zealand.